kingdom, the subjects and the servants of a king speak, do not speak their mind. They're not allowed to speak their mind. And they're not allowed to give their opinions. I'm sorry, they're not. Subjects and servants of a king speak the language of the king. What language are you speaking? Whose opinion are you giving? Yours or the words? Wasn't it Paul that said, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. You know why he could say that? Because he knew who was in dominion. Mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Watch this now. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against what? The knowledge of God. You ready? And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience until your obedience be fulfilled. Well, you're not going to tell me how to think. I don't have to. The king does. If you're in the kingdom, if he's your king, this book says, I don't have a right to just let my thoughts go anywhere. I've got to bring my thoughts into captivity. I've got to bind them up. I, 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 man, this, this, this free thinking stuff. Look, I'm not talking about human control here. I'm, I'm talking about the king's word. See, where the king's word is, there's authority. And the king said to us, the king said to us that I need to take my thoughts and I need to filter them through the word of God. And if they come against God's word in any way, I need to bring them into captivity until I bring myself into obedience. You'll never do that if you're not submitted to the king. The reason people can't submit to the man of God is because the problem is with God. You know, I told you my wife really helped me. You know what she helped me understand? I couldn't understand. I didn't understand. What did I do to them? They were my friends. I mean, I'm their pastor, but I love them. How come they're pulling? What, what's the deal? What, where's this distance coming from? I, I, was, I was hurt, and I didn't understand this. She said, Joe, don't you get it? When people pull away from you, it's only because of what you represent. When they want to be distant from the pastor, it's because they want to be distant from God. I'm not the problem. You're not the problem. You're not the problem. There's no leader in here. We're, we're, we're not the problem when people want to cut themselves off from us. If we're, if we're operating under the authority of the king. Again, you've got to remember, it's not our opinion here. It's what the king says. This word or truth can stand investigation you know where we check it at right here we filter it through the standard does it fit the standard 
does it flow through the book? Does the king stamp his approval on this? You love me? Stand with me. Let me say it again, and this is the last thing I will say, and I'm going to wrap it up. The Holy Word of God is not just ink on Indian paper. It's the Word of the King, the one true God, the Lord Jesus Christ. God's Word is never outdated, and it's never not relevant. God's Word is as eternal as God Himself and as current as as tomorrow's news the apostles understood how serious a violation it was to alter the word of the king and that's where we're going to pick it up tomorrow can we lift our hands to the Lord can you honor him in Jesus name In Jesus' name, oh God, help us, we pray, Lord. Help us, we pray, Lord. Help us, we pray, Jesus. Help us, we pray, Jesus. Give us understanding, Lord. Give us understanding, Lord. Give us understanding, Lord. Give us understanding, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, God. We love you and we honor you, Lord. We give you praise. God, I pray blessing. I pray blessing upon these precious students, Lord. I pray blessing upon every person under the sound of our voice. God, I pray blessing upon the bishop of this work. Oh God, the scepter is in his hand. Lord Jesus, the rod of authority is in his hand. And God, I pray that Brother Doji and Brother Timothy they together God as Aaron and her lift up that rod lift up that authority so that salvation can do its job oh God and Lord as they do you will honor them and they will have authority that he has they will operate under that same authority because they're submitted to authority I pray for every leader I pray for every leader tabernacle of joy and joy fellowship I pray for every leader oh God that they will understand their role and their place in Jesus name help every one of us Lord to speak the word of the King God to speak your word that none of us have any authority that you don't give us and Lord we have no authority outside of the holy word of God for it is the word of the king but where the word of the king is there's power there's an authority in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you Lord thank you Lord Pastor Church